I think the first thing I noticed about the first Descendant was its beautiful designs and character and locations. And I think that drew me in to actually play a game that I loved playing. I think the character designs are essential to actually drawing in the fan base. I think with the first Descendant, every new design you get entices you to play longer and extend your involvement in the game. And I think that's what happens with their new update. And I think the opposite is happening with Destiny 2. When I had interest in playing Destiny 2, the only thing I saw was this new character from Lightfall someone called Nimbus and if you look at this character they're supposed to be a non-binary type of character but when you look at them their old personality the way they approach things they look like a millennial gen z type of character written by political progressive activists that want to make something that stands in line with their personal politics and i think that is the character designs that you are getting from destiny 2 where everything is progressively more uglier than i ever remembered and i think trying to jump back into the destiny series itself looking at some of these characters and understanding that they're just overall unappealing kind of pushes you away from playing a game and i think that is lending itself to the overall predicament that we're seeing at bungie the developer for destiny where it's a developer that is having massive layoffs and may lead to its overall shuttering of the company itself under sony if you don't know what's happening with bungie they just have massive layoffs over a large quantity of their staff members they're closing down production on destiny 3 which they did start on production so they're only focused on free to play packs matches for Destiny 2 for the foreseeable future and I think this is the biggest thing that we're seeing in the video gaming industry where we have these giant development companies that are overly focused on the modern day design of video games development where it's more focused on your personal politics and activism and how you insert it into the games that you're playing and I think this is what we're seeing with Destiny 2 where it was a game that was inundated with these personal political points of view where they had to demasculize some of the male characters and more masculinize some of the female characters introduce these non-binary elements of the characterizations that we're seeing of some of these people that are in the game where every character had to be obsessively ugly in their overall designs and i think this is a thing people were kind of bashing throughout the years of course there's more predictable elements that were terrible with the game the overall looting structure the terrible expansion like fall the terrible storytelling and the gameplay elements of course those are the heavy things that pushed away the dedicated fan base that was always there but i think this is the element that pushed away the fan base that could have been there where they just saw these ugly character designs and they kind of effectively walked away from the game not giving it a chance at all because just every character looks very visually unappealing. I think this is something that we see within the video gaming industry. This a point of making every character super ugly and unattractive and making the game players want to avoid your game. And I think this is an essential thing that kind of pushed away a new fan base that could have grown with Destiny. Me, I played the, the first Destiny. I was looking into getting Destiny 2. But after seeing some of these updates and seeing everything going on, I was just like, man, I just don't want to play as these characters. I don't care about the world anymore. And I think this is the design art that's pushing away a possible fan base that could have been there where they're making characters that are just very hideous to look at. And it just pushes away the fan base where they just don't want to play the game anymore. You compare that to the first Descendant where we're getting designs where if even if you don't like the first ascending game it's free to play and you get to see some of these epic designs that are, are attractive and that you're willing to pay for and i think this is an essential thing that we're not seeing in destiny 2 that we're not seeing in a multitude of other franchises that are out right now that are being taken advantage of by nexon the developer for the first descendant i think this is the the most curious thing i think about this situation about the success and failure of destiny and the first descendant these two games are kind of not in the not exactly the same but then the same sphere of influence in the gaming industry where this game is just a new game coming out and it's attracting massive attention because it's doing the basic marketing strategy of making your game look good which should have been something simple that a lot of people could understand but that's not the case anymore the case right now is that the game developers within the industry right now are avoiding that take of making beautiful designs characters and spaces even with this whole modern art take that we're seeing in society inspired by Andy Warhol I know people like him and stuff like that I always hated that sort of design because it's just 
took no effort lack of effort i know it might be the deep meaning and the point of the modern art design is to have no talent and no inspiration of actually making something beautiful but i hate that design i like seeing beautiful things and i think people around the world like that as well no matter how you try to trick them that they like mundane unartful and ugly designs you're not going to convince people of their natural desires of seeing something actually attractive and appealing i think that's what the first ascendant is using just the basic simple mathematics and design and marketing strategies of making things look good and i think that's the thing i like about what i'm seeing with the first ascendant it's making things look good and it's making it look good in the proper way that people like seeing things and of course you add to that a good gameplay loop which i think this has a good gameplay loop that can trap players or track players to play their game maybe even spend money i think you have a, a highly successful game that is going to overshadow something that's so dedicated to being ugly that players are just going to avoid your game now and i think that's what essentially we see with this game where everyone is just losing interest with this with destiny 2 and i think ultimately lightfall was the, the killing blow to this game where everyone's just like man i don't want anything to do with this game anymore i'm tired of it i'm tired of the terrible writing i'm tired of the terrible game gameplay mechanics that are constantly being changed I, i'm just tired of this game itself and i think this is the, the core element of this game that we're seeing now being produced where people are just walking away if you're making these type of games now and they're not going to give you another chance i think essentially that is the case for destiny 2 and its failure it's just stuck in this modern art design where everything has to be ugly stale bland and racial and gender neutral and i think that is the thing that people are not attracted to, unfortunately. People are not appealed to that design art. And I think we have to accept that as game developers, as people that are making games, that making things that are not appealing to the fan base is a quick way to go bankrupt. And I think Bungie is having that experience finally where they're losing everything, where jobs are being laid off and people are being reoriented to other projects that are likely to be successful or less successful just depending on Sony itself because it's enamored with this ideology of the modern art design of making everything bland, ugly, and uninspiring. And that's just going to push away the audience that is likely to pay money for a game. And I think that's the essential thing that we're seeing now in the video gaming industry where success and failure is being made on the look of your game immediately. Once people see the look of your game and it's ugly, it's not appealing, you better have the, the most amazing gameplay possible or people are going to just churn away from your game. You need amazing gameplay and word of mouth then you might draw an audience. If you just have a pretty game, people are going to play the game. Even if it's terrible. I remember I played games back in the 2000s where they were just uh, terrible games, but they look good, so I played them anyways. And I think that's the essential thing a lot of games developers understood back in the day where it just we have a terrible game, let's at least make it look good. And that would, would attract an audience. Now we're having the opposite where we have a terrible game, let's make sure it's ugly so it's in line with our modern political takes. And of course, the company he goes bankrupt and no one achieves anything of worth while and i think in the past if you made a beautiful game that was terrible you saved jobs and i think that's the case people are missing out on those trashy over 18 games that came out in the early 2000s late 2000s they saved jobs they they kept people families fed and i think this is the thing that we're not seeing in the video gaming industry anymore no one wants to save jobs anymore everyone wants to just make their established political agenda clear to the world before they go broke and homeless and start roaming through garbage cans in downtown LA so that's uh, the situation in the gaming industry that's the situation for any developer at Bungie right now and I think with the first ascendant they're seeing the waves of successes that will not go away because they're placating and appeasing the audience making beautiful designs for everyone but that's just my thoughts on the situation i'd like to hear what you have to think like comment share subscribe this is wagner knows why catch you next time